Hi and welcome back to Devana Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed, and today we're going to make this cute little macrame bracelet. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to need a few things today for our little bracelet that we're going to make. You're going to need some beads, and I'll put a link down below where you can find them. You're going to need some macrame cord, about a millimetre, and I like to just use the plain cotton, but you can use leather and you can use nylon cord. I'm not a fan of those on my skin, so I just use the plain cotton. You're going to need some thread snips. You're also going to need a uh, bulldog clip and possibly even a couple of wonder clips just to hold your threads out of the way. And you're also going to need some pins. So to get started you're going to need to take your macrame cord which is a millimetre in thickness and you're going to need to cut six strands of that and they are at 1 metre 20 or 44 inches roughly, give or take. Okay so we're going to take our threads and we're going to line them all up as even as possible and then we're going to come down about 20 centimetres. So that's, that's usually about the span of your hand. And then I'm just going to place that at the top, grab my bulldog clip and secure that into place. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a square knot to create my end. So I'm going to take my two side strands and have my middle one and I'm going to do a full square knot. So to make the number four, we just place that, take the left hand side one, place that over the top of the center threads and then pull our right hand one over that tail like so so you can see that's over the top and then we're going to go underneath all of that and come out through the loop there okay you may need to put a little bit of pressure onto the center ones and I just use my wonder clips for that it's just quick and easy to put it on and then I bring it up to that bulldog clip give it a bit of a, a tug and then I repeat for the opposite side so I make a backwards four this time and do exactly the same thing again put some pressure on those center ones another bulldog clip also works for that as well if you don't have these large wonder clips and anything I use in the video today I will put a link down below where you can find all the products okay so we've done that and that's just the beginning of our bracelet okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our six strands and we're just going to separate them into two lots of three And then I'm just going to clip the wonder clip there and they'll stay out of the way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a set of five full square knots. And basically we're just going to be working with the three strands. So as I said earlier, you can use nylon cord, you can use embroidery floss or you can use leather. I just like to use the natural cotton. I just like the look of it. I like the feel of it against my skin, but that's totally up to you. And I will put links down below where you can get uh, leather and um, nylon cords as well for you to make it super easy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of five, four, um, five square knots and we're just going to use these three strands. So basically we're starting from the left hand side and then we make that letter, uh, the number four and we just put some pressure on our middle strand. Again, I just use the wonder clips and we go up. And then we repeat exactly the same thing onto the other side. So just using our backward four. So that is one square knot. So now we need to do another four and then we're going to repeat that to this side. So now we've done five. We're going to do exactly the same to the other side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull them all together and clip them out of the way with the wonder clip. And then I'm going to repeat exactly the same over here and we want five square knots. We have our two strands here. So now what we want to do is we're going to make like a little flower. And this is where these little beads come in handy. Okay, so I've got my beads here and I'm just going to use these tubular beads, but you can use whatever sort of beads you like. Now to make it super easy, you can use a crochet hook that will fit through the hole or you can use um, a, a yarn needle or a tapestry needle, whatever you've got to get through that hole. So I've got some really fine crochet hooks here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center strand of my first row, I'm going to just pop that through there 
might be a little bit tight to get it through but if you just nice and gentle it'll come through quite easily and then we're going to repeat that for the other side again just put your crochet hook through and then gently pull your your cord through once we've done that what we're going to do is we're just going to push that up a little bit tighter and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our side one off each one and then we're going to do a square knot in the center so just putting a little bit of pressure on those center ones starting at the left create that number four up. now you don't want to pull it too tight because we do want it to have a little bit of a gap so just bringing it up and then repeat to the other side and if you find it's moving to, on you too much, this is where you can grab some pins and you can just secure that in place. And then that's one square knot there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring that over, over again and split it into two. And then we're going to get our center strand on our right hand side and the center strand on this side and grab a couple more beads. Bring that up and get our center one from over here. Okay so at this point I like to just put a pin in here and that's going to hold that in place. Now that you've secured that in place, secure the right hand side with a wonder clip and now we're going to work on the left hand side. You want to make sure that you don't do your square knots too tight up against the bead because this will make the beads sit a little bit funny. Now that we've done one, we need to do five in total to the left hand side. Once you've done five, move to the right hand side and repeat. We now have done five on each arm. We need to grab our beads and our crochet hook and we're going to add another set of beads. Pin this into place to help secure. Take your crochet hook, slip your bead on, get your cord and pull that through the bead. It can be a little bit tricky but it is doable. Once you have two beads on we're going to secure with a square knot as we did earlier. On the left hand side create your number four with your right hand tail over the top of that left hand one. Secure it into spot without pulling too tight as this will make the bead sit funny if you pull it too tight. Now we're ready to add our second set of beads on, just like we've done before, pulling them through the center. Now that we have both beads on, we will keep our arms separated and we're going to work another five square knots. Starting on the left hand side, making sure that we do not do it too tight because it will make the flower sit a little bit weird. Repeat to the right hand side. Okay, so now this is actually going to fit my wrist, so I don't need to go any further. If you do have a larger wrist, you will need to add some more beads as we have done before and do another two arms. But for me, I am just securing off here with a square knot. Once this is secure in place, I can now work on the band, the rest of the band. What I need to do is create a loop and then I take the tail from the right hand side and start wrapping that around. It doesn't matter really which tail you take to, to wrap around, I just use the left hand one to create the loop and the right hand one to create the binding around it. 
I've done this about four to five times and then once I get around to my final wrap I then will come through the back of my loop with that tail that I was wrapping as you can see here I'm just making that a little bit secure and now I'm going to come through the back pull it all the way through and then that one that was laying up against the bracelet you want to hold on to that and the tail that you just put through the loop and give it a tug you may have to help it along a little bit but that's quite easily done give it a good tug and this is going to secure everything in place as you can see here next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do some half square knots starting on the left hand side and just continuing doing it on the left hand side this is going to create part of my band that I'm going to use to tie the bracelet onto my wrist you will need to secure your center ropes as you can see here and that just makes it super easy if it's moving around too much you can always secure it with some pins although my pins weren't long enough in this case I continue doing this down to the bottom of my board uh, to where the bulldog clip is that's holding the center ropes as you can see here and now I'm ready to tie a simple overhand knot just to clip finish this off as you can see here it's just like tying your shoelaces and that I give it a little bit of a pull and it's done and now I'm going to repeat that to the other side so again I'm just doing half square knots and I'm going to continue that down and I will finish that with our overhand knot and then my bracelet will be ready to be worn excess cording make sure that your knots are nice and secure and then you can tie it to your wrist as you can see here but that's it our little bracelet is done well i hope you liked this video today if you did give us a thumbs up down below hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside it and that way you won't miss out on any future posts and for those that don't know my name's nicole reed for divana lee design studio and i'll see you all again next time bye for now